Okay guys, we're going to go into some more challenging parts of special right triangles. We're going to be working on this page in your notes, day one. These two problems. And these back two problems. Okay, don't worry about the ones in the corner grid. We want to introduce some trig to you, some unit circle, but with everything going on, we're not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to start with this problem here, all right, because it's just harder to draw. And before I start, I want you to take about five to ten minutes on your own, pause the video, okay, you can close your screen so you don't got to look at me the whole time. But do those four problems on your own, try them, see if you can figure them out, just like in class. I work five to ten minutes on when you're done, you think you have the answers, come back and, and watch the rest of the lesson. Please don't give up quickly, all right? Just try it, try it, try it. I'm going to start with the most challenging one first. But now is when you should pause your video at about 56 seconds. Okay. If we look here, oh, there's a lot going on. So we have to figure out which is the best way to go. If I look at this 30 degrees here, let's say people read left to right, they may start with the 30. I know I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but I have no values. So let's jump over here. Mm. I have no values at all. The only thing I will know is this will be a right angle because linear pairs are supplementary. Don't really have anything else. Um, oh wait, I had this 45 was given to me. So that makes that 45. So I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. But again, nothing there. So let's look over here. I have no angle measures. So I can't use my special right triangles here. But I do have a right angle. So what am I thinking about there? Yep, Pythagorean theorem. And we still don't have calculators yet, so you might say to yourself, Mr. Brockler, you want me to do 120 squared and 130 squared? You do have a lot of time now that we're not in school, so instead of your lunch period, you can just do that. Or you can realize I have a 5, 12, 13 triangle. But instead of 5, 12, 13 is going to be 50, 120, 130. So G is 50. How can I get that over here? Well, I have a right triangle. These are the same, and they share this piece. So these two triangles are congruent by what? Remember, proof's our favorite thing in the world, aside from me. Yep, hypotenuse leg. So by hypotenuse leg, that part is 50. If that is 50, this is also 50. And in a 45-45 triangle, it was A, A, A radical 2. So K is 50 radical 2. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure you can see this, not positive, but I'm going to also post my handwritten uh, answers with the reasons listed on the right. Now let's get over to here. I have my 30, 60, 90 triangle. There's my A. This is 2A, so H is 100. Let's wrap it up. G is 50, K is 50 radical 2, H is 100. Let me grab my eraser. Sorry, my kids at home, they just grab it, put it where they want to. Let's go to this first, this equilateral triangle. We have an equilateral triangle whose each side is 26 meters. Well, what do we know about equilateral triangle? It's also equiangular. So they're all 60. We want to find the area. Well, area is one half base times height. Here's my base. So one half 26 times h. Well, what is the height of a triangle? We just drop the altitude. Okay, and the altitude, remember, comes from the vertex. Well, what triangle did I just create here? A 30, 60, 90 triangle. 
Now, if you remember from our isosceles triangles, when you drop an altitude from an isosceles triangle, it bisects the base. If you didn't remember that, you can just look and see that I had A, 2A, A radical 3. 2A is 26, so that makes A 13, and it makes the height 13 radical 3. So I put in my height, 13 radical 3. Remember, don't distribute to both because it's multiplication, not addition. So it's just going to be 13 times 13 radical 3, 169 radical 3 meters squared. And that is our answer. No need to multiply out. Keep everything as a simple radical. Simple radical. Okay. Let's go to the next page. I really like this next warm-up. I do, I do like this problem a lot. We're going to find BC. We're looking for BC. Now on there I showed you, I, I drew in the completed right triangle. But I want to look at this because on the test I may have given you something where it's just this. And some of you may jump and say, well this 30 right here will give me this is A to A. It doesn't work that way because it's only for right triangles. So what you have to do is you have to draw two auxiliary lines. You have to draw your altitude. Pretend we're finding the area of this triangle right here where this is the base. I would drop my altitude, and then I'm going to have my pretend line extended. So I just created a right triangle. Okay, I just created a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I now have to use this, right? I have to use this to somehow find my BC, which I'm going to call X, because I haven't used it anywhere. If I look at the whole thing, if that's 30 and that's 120, that adds up to 150, so that leaves me 30 right there. I have to look in this triangle too, because I still am going to need it later on. Actually, I'll wait, I'll wait for that, because I don't, I don't want to confuse you. Let's just look at this triangle right here. If this is 30, this is my A, 2A, and this whole thing is A radical 3. If that's 2A, a is 5. That's not x. It's the altitude is 5. And this is 5 radical 3. Whether we use it or not, who knows? Just put it in there. How can I get to this x? Well, I have another triangle here created by the altitude, this extended, and x. If that's 120 by a linear pair, that's 60. And look at that, another 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay. I can't use A again. I've already used A. So it's not going to be A, A radical 3, 2A. It's going to be B, B radical 3, 2B. So this is my lowercase b. This would be B radical 3 and 2B. Okay. Don't get confused and think it's just going to be 10. B radical 3, move this over, equals what? Because I don't have this, I don't have the side across from 30, and I don't have my hypotenuse. B radical 3 equals 5. So I have to solve that. Divide by radical 3, divide by radical 3. Rationalize, rationalize. B is 5 radical 3 over 3. This part here is 5 radical 3 over 3. This is 2b, so I just take 2 times 5 radical 3 over 3. I can't reduce 10 radical 3 over 3. So bc is 10 radical 3 over 3. That was a lot in there, but it's on tape, so you can go back, watch it at your leisure. 
Okay, that's a good problem. That's a problem that we would spend a decent amount of time on. You might see it in a little bit of your of your work. Okay, pause it up there. Good. And again, I'm going to post these answers to online. Although this is posted online. Okay. Last one. see quickly here's a 45 45 90 triangle and that's a 30 60 90 triangle we'll start with this radical 3 It'll be my a a a radical 2 that's radical 3 that's radical 3 here it's going to be we're going to substitute this a radical 3 in for a here so it's going to be radical 3 times radical 2 which is radical six. So M is radical six. M is radical six. So now I have my next triangle, my independent. Treat them separately. I'm gonna call this B, 2B, B radical three, all right? So I mess with the radicals here to make sure you really know what's going on, all right? So that's gonna be simple numbers. Here, I substituted A in and multiplied by radical 2 because I knew what A was. In this triangle, I know what B radical 3 is and I have to solve for B. So B radical 3 is radical 6. Divide both sides by radical 3. B is radical 2. So B is radical 2, which makes K radical 2. And up here will be 2 radical 2, although we don't ask for it. Okay? Those are some challenge problems. This is a longer video. Take your time. Watch it. Learn it. The next lesson will be uh, in your yellow packets. It's the homework worksheet 1 and 2. All right, that'll be your assignment. Um, work on those, and then I'll post the answers for that. Um, maybe hit me a comment on any problems you'd like me to do. So I don't sit there and go through every one because some might be easier than the other. And then after you see the answer key, but is there any particular problems you'd like me to do, I'll do them and post them up there for you. All right. Enjoy your day, guys. Be safe.